let's do one more problem in our flip-flop conversion and this time we are going to convert SR flip-flop to JK flip-flop we are having our five step to convert the SR to JK a very important question to be asked in your exam the SR flip-flop to JK flip-flop conversion so let's move to our step number one in step number one we have to determine the available flip-flop and the required flip-flop so let me write it down first the available flip-flop the required flip-flop it is very important to determine them correctly because if you switch them everything is going to be reversed and your answer will be wrong so available flip-flop is our SR flip-flop and the required flip-flop is my JK flip-flop now you already know in step number two we have to find out the characteristic table for your required flip-flop and required flip-flop is JK so we will make a characteristic table for JK flip-flop I have already made the table so let me paste it down and this is my table in this we have to find out the value of QN plus 1 to complete the characteristic table so let's do it when J is 0 K is 0 we know that it is the memory state your output or your state is going to be the same as the previous one so previous one was 0 so QN plus 1 will also be 0 when J is 0 K is 1 QN plus 1 is 0 when J is 1 K is 0 QN plus 1 is 1 when both of them J and K are 1 it means it is the toggle state and QN plus 1 is going to be Q and complement so QN was 0 and taking its complement I'm having 1 when J is 0 K is 0 again memory so 1 in this case 0 1 and again toggle state so QN plus 1 is 0 the complement of 1 is now 0 so we are done with our step number 2 in which we have found out the characteristic table for our required flip-flop now we have to move to our step number 3 in step number 3 we have to determine the excitation table for the available flip-flop and the available flip-flop is my SR so let's make the excitation table for the SR flip-flop before that let me write down the excitation table here S and R are the two outputs and the inputs are QN QN plus 1 so four possible combinations let me write it down quickly you can also refer to your notes 0 1 0 don't care don't care 0 1 0 every time it is good to make the excitation table here especially for the SR flip-flop and JK flip-flop because in that case we are having eight combinations so that we can easily fill the table it helps and it avoids mistakes so I'm having S and R here we have to match this two columns because that is what we need to get our excitation table the two inputs so let's do it when both of them are zero it means the first case s is zero r is don't care again both of them are zero so zero don't care zero one zero one gives us one zero one zero again one zero one one gives us don't care zero so don't care zero one zero 10 zero gives us 0 1 so 0 1 1 1 don't care 0 1 0 0 1 so you can see once I have made this table here it's very easy to fill the values for S and R so it's a good practice to do now we are done with our three steps the fourth step is to determine the value of S and R by using the K map so let's make a 8 cell K map for S and the same K map for R so you can pause the video and determine the value by yourself the inputs are QN J K 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and I will copy this and paste it down so that we can use it for R also so this is for R this is for S this is for R okay let's do it S is 0 0 1 1 so 0 0 1 1 don't care 0 don't care 0 so don't care 0 don't care 0 similarly R is don't care don't care 0 0 
zero one zero one so i have filled the map now let's make the groups let's do it for s we are having two ones here and uh, it's easy to combine them simply like this no need to involve any don't here and again in this case also we can combine the two ones simply like this it's a very simple k map to solve so s is equal to q and complement and in this if i see j is one k is changing from one to zero so i'm having j and r is equal to q n and here i am having k because j is changing from 0 to 1 so q and k so this is the boolean expression for our s and r now the last and the final step is to implement them and you already know i'm having s r flip flop already so i will make s r flip flop this is my s r flip flop and i will uh, do the changes that we have got in this step 4 to make it jk this is output qn qn complement and our clock goes here okay this symbol represents that it is negative edge triggered okay and uh, now we have to see the value for s from the step number four it is q and complement j let me do it in different colors so that we can see what are the changes that we have to do so q and complement i will take from here and it is the and combination of q and complement and j so i will use a and gate here okay and the one of the input to this and gate is j and the other input is of course q n complement that we have taken out so we are done with our s we have to do these changes now we will see for r r is q n and k so i will take q n from here like this and use another and gate the one input to the and gate is of course k and the other input is q n so in this way we can convert our s r flip flop to jk flip flop by just using two and gates and taking the outputs q n and q n complement and using it as the expression given here so this was a very important presentation and you have to follow all these five steps to get your answer correct so this is all now see you in the next presentation